Hi, everybody. I'm Colin. And I'm Sarah. And this is your Book Madness Final Four recap. Only four books remain in our field of 64. So things are getting intense in the tournament. We only had two matchups to recap this time. Here they are. Had To Kill a Mockingbird versus Ready Player One. And uh, how do you think that one turned out? Of course, right? <laughs> to Kill a Mockingbird. And then Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone versus The Nightingale, everyone's favorite book that I haven't read. And Harry Potter, not so surprisingly won that. No, not at all. This is what the Final Four looked like, and that's what our championship match looks like. And that's, that's what we thought was going to happen, right? That, that was our prediction. We did. So, yeah, we can't get into uh, trash talking each other because we both. Right. To kill yeah. them and uh, Harry Potter. Uh, so, so if they're just watching for our trash talk, they. I know it's kind of a letdown, but I, I don't know. It, we we kind of had to do that. Just can you imagine picking the other choices in that? <laughs> I mean, not not to say, just set aside what you would vote for. Just like predicting either one of those to be the heavy favorites, like yeah. So we would we would have been foolish to to predict that. So how close were these? <laughs> oh, what, what's the, what's the opposite of close? <laughs> Landslide. So that's, that's what these were. Oh, just total. A mopping. Just a mopping, a waxing, uh, <laughs> just destruction. <laughs> destruction. I think uh, To Kill a Mockingbird won with all the votes. Really? We talked last time about just how unfair this is. Like, Ready Player One wins its whole bracket, and it's rewarded by getting to face To Kill a Mockingbird, just one of the best books ever. Uh, right. Like. How, how? The contest. What, what hope? What hope does it have? What about the other one? The other one, uh, we both, yeah, we both picked Harry Potter and thought that it would be a landslide, which it was, but Nightingale actually got a handful of votes, I think. It, okay. okay. I don't know, maybe four or five votes out of a bunch. There were a bunch of votes on that one. I think we had like 35 plus votes. Well, and maybe it was, you know, like you said, maybe they were actually looking at not just the whole Harry Potter, Harry Potter, you know, franchise, but yeah, that like just this book. Yeah, yeah. I, I figured we had some people looking at it that way, or you might just have some people where you know, either Harry Potter or maybe kids' books. That mm -hmm. way, it's not their cup of tea, and so like, oh, right. Nightingale, like Nightingale. Maybe they think it's like, oh, that's a serious book, and right. I'm gonna pick it over. Harry Potter. And uh, so we might have had some of that going on, but Harry Potter still easily, easily crushed it. And yeah, I'm kind of, kind of bummed by, by just how big of a blowout each of these matchups became. Uh, just because, you know, these are supposed to be your marquee matchups. You know, these are your final four teams. So it's supposed to be, you know, Closer, yeah. You know, entertaining, and these just were not. But what are you going to do? Uh, yeah, it could have been, the way it goes, right? Maybe, yeah, and maybe if we had done the brackets different, differently and not, like, put all the classics in one, but, like, sprinkled the classics throughout, but then we might have ended up with just a bunch of classics in the Final Four, and that wouldn't have been. Yeah. Exciting. Well, you know, with some variety. Yeah, we'll just have to talk to that committee. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Those committee, that committee that has screwed up so many things <laughs> this whole tournament. <laughs> but yeah, I think their justification was they wanted to uh, give the other books a chance, I guess. The, the logic being, the assumption being that the classics would perform better than anything else. So, and maybe that would have played out, maybe not. But as yeah. said, the way things worked, uh, we just had some... Some not 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 totally fair fights going on, yeah. but yeah. Well, what do you see happening in this last round? The championship, the championship match. Well, this is actually a little tough because these 
books are both obviously hugely widely loved and I think it might make some people think. I, I really do. I, I, it's a tough call. I'm not just, uh, you know, I'm not confident like I was with the, the results about our last round. But with this, I will once again commit to sticking to my initial prediction. I said before we even started this, To Kill a Mockingbird was going to win the whole thing. So I'm going to stick with it. Yeah, I, I think that's what's going to happen. Yeah? Yeah, I sure, think you don't want to you don't want to pick uh, Harry Potter just to no nope, no nope. have a little wagering in my mind. There's no question. We can't go to the it. casinos right now, so the only <laughs> gambling thrills we can have are betting against each other and things. Right, I know. Yeah, it's it's been. <laughs> Wait, can we go to the casinos now? <laughs> they change no, that. I I think you have two very passionate, you know like fan bases with these books, but I think To Kill a Mockingbird is going to take it easily. Easily. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, We could bet on like the how margin of victory. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's set a number here then. Um, an over under. Let's see. So you said easily. It would winning by is 15 votes too many? Is that not a fair number? Do you want that lowered? Uh, yeah, I would say like 10. Let's just do 10. 10. Yeah. Okay. That's so just you, a nice round, you know. Yeah. 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 I like that number too. So 10. You say uh, To Kill a Mockingbird will win by 10 or, or more. Or more votes. So if it wins by 10 or more votes, you win. If it only wins by nine or fewer votes, I win. Yes. Okay. Wait, let's push, let's push that up. If it wins by 11 or more, you win. If it 10 or fewer, okay. you win. 10 or under. Yeah. I still feel okay. like you're getting the better end of this deal. Cause I, Absolutely. Like, I think it's going to be closer. Like, <laughs> okay, I don't think, later. I don't think it's going to be just a total drubbing, but I, I, I still would expect Mockingbird to pull away. So uh, I'm giving you the better side. So what, officially, what do we got? Um, box of Pop-Tarts. Uh, what, what, yeah, um, you know, more. Benbrook, Walmart, they only sell the plain strawberry without the frosting in a box of 16. Okay. So 16 and, count of those? Because I looked last time I went. Mm -hmm. After all our talk of. So yeah, 16. That's a lot of Pop-Tarts. You don't have to eat them all. You can share them. Yeah, I might just give some of them, you know, charity. Pop Char tart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you get a pop tart, and you yeah. get a pop tart. I'll be like Oprah. <laughs> the Oprah, the Oprah of tarts. Um, you can bring them to work. You know. You know there you go. Yeah. Put them in the break room. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's make that the bet then. Uh, a, a sixteen count of unfrosted strawberry pop tarts. Um, is on the line and just the details if to kill mockingbird wins by 11 votes or more over harry potter sarah wins if to kill mockingbird wins by 10 votes or fewer then i win there you go let's shake on it okay a gentleman's agreement <laughs> Huzzah! So that's the final matchup that's what we think is going to happen so uh we'll tell you how to vote in a second if you don't already know before we do that, uh, we slipped an ad in here for the Pembroke Public Library. If you didn't know already, we're open for curbside pickup. The inside of the library is closed at the moment, but we are allowing you to check out physical items uh, curbsidedly. And these are the steps. It's how you do it. Basically, you call us or email us from your home. Tell us what you want. We, uh, you give us your card number. We'll check it out to you once we get it right then and there. So no physical interaction with the card. Uh, once we have that, uh, we'll tell you, we'll tell you when we talk to you initially, like, all right, we got it. Come pick it up. So you come up to the library at your convenience, park in a spot outside that's numbered, uh, call us from your car, let us know you're there. We'll grab your stuff. We'll take it out. We'll put it on a table in front of your car. You wait till we go inside and you get out, pick it up. It's all contactless and as safe as we can possibly make it. Uh, so yeah, you can check out books. You can check out movies, audiobooks, 
You can check out kits. So that's our children's kits. We had a bunch of cool ones of those. We have the Library of Things kits, uh, which features fun stuff like uh, stuff for knitting and crocheting. Uh, there's a telescope, there's a ukulele, there's gardening supplies, there's a tool kit, there's a yoga kit. There's a Nintendo NES classic that you can check out and play. And uh, some others that I haven't even mentioned. So you can check out that stuff as well. Uh, those are specifically for Bembrook card holders, but uh, card holders of our other partner libraries can check out uh, the conventional stuff too. So if you're wanting some library items, call us, email us, um, and we'll hook you up with curbside pickup. Vote on the championship match, which is the Kill a Mockingbird versus Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Two books left, a champion will be crowned, always you'll be voting on Facebook and that'll be tomorrow night the 8th of May a Friday night um, so yeah there aren't any sports on so this has got to be your your entertainment right so super exciting entertainment oh yeah like you just <laughs> I know it's you know <laughs> no that no one's gonna be moving or <laughs> accomplishing any sort of athletic feats it's really a still image of some books and then you type in some words but I don't know that in a way, that's equally thrilling, is watching a, a basketball match. So get on there, vote, vote, vote. And if you haven't voted on anything else, vote on this one. Uh, Kill Mockingbird, Harry Potter, a champion must be crowned. And after that, the whole thing's over. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do to fill the void left by Book Madness. Uh, we'll try to cook something up to, to continue having some, some fun with you guys on the social media so uh we'll figure it out we'll let you know but yeah vote tomorrow night for our champion and we will see you sometime <laughs> we'll see you around we'll see you at curbside pickup uh, until then bye thanks guys thank you